risks are great, rewards are great as well. Sergeant Larry Corrin pilots the helicopter that helps find stranded or lost hikers. When he goes on a mission, he works with the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office and Fire District, along with five paramedics and dozens of volunteers. He says the best case scenario is being able to get the helicopter on the ground in a rescue mission. Wasting for, for our operation is a tool of, of last resort. If, uh, if we can land, we're going to land. Sometimes the helicopter will fly over the hikers and will drop this first aid kit as they wait for search and rescue teams to find them. For example, just lost and they, uh, they aren't injured, they aren't dehydrated enough to the point where they, they need to be hoisted or anything like that, but they just basically need to make it through the night. It's a job not for the faint of heart. Every single one of us is, uh, if, if they say they weren't scared or they weren't nervous, they'd be lying. And that's a good thing for us because it keeps us on our toes, it keeps us safe. Crews train about 30 hours per month to make sure they know what to do when you're in trouble. To avoid trouble, experts say it's all about preparation. Search and Rescue says you should always bring layers when you go hiking. Obviously, it's hot down here, but when you're up on the mountain, it gets much colder even in the summertime. Have enough water and make sure your phones are charged. But if things go wrong, help will be on its way. Justin Matthews, KYT Action 7 News.